LSU going to Starkville, Mississippi to play Mississippi State. Noon kick, ESPN, LSU now favored by nine and a half points, going up a point in favor of the Tigers. For LSU, the last time we saw them on the national stage, they were getting themselves just absolutely obliterated against Florida State. Like, just kind of the way it went. Wasn't good. We, we, we got to see them get back on track here. They beat Grambling last week. We got to see them play an opponent with a more substantial pulse, the Power 5 team, an SEC West team, get back on track, kind of pack it in here, get, get everything headed the right direction. Now, for Mississippi State, this is a chance for them to make a statement because a lot of people with the microphone, myself included, have our reservations about Mississippi State. I'll tell you more about that as we go on throughout this prediction. They got a big win last week in overtime against Arizona. Defense forced a lot of turnovers. Will Rogers threw less than 20 passes. I couldn't tell you the last time that happened in his career in Starkville. They're shifting now from this air raid attack to more pro style. There's still spread concepts in there, obviously, but they're shifting how they do things. So all that's to be said, a lot of storylines here, a lot at stake for both teams. This could be a, a fork in the road moment for both teams. Should LSU lose this game? Holy smokes. The, the pressure in Baton Rouge, not on Brian Kelly in terms of like a hot seat or anything like that, but just like, a, oh my gosh, what happened to last year? What is, what is going on within this team to where they lose on the road to a team like Mississippi State who's going to, according to Vegas, fight, scratch, claw to make a bowl game? For Mississippi State, what a statement that would be. For them to say, we know what you said about us all offseason long. JD, we heard you talking. We're not worried about it. Go ahead and quiet down. We just took down the SEC West champs. That would be the way they would like to live. I promise you that. The matchup for me in this game is Will Rogers, who we mentioned a minute ago, probably going to finish his career as the SEC's all-time leading passer. That is a very big honor to have against this LSU secondary. Like I said, last time we saw this LSU secondary... They got 342 hung on them from Jordan Travis and company at Florida State. Now, Florida State, they got some more toys at wide receiver that I don't think Mississippi State has. But even so, man, Will Rogers, he can hurt you if you don't, if you don't plaster. And plaster is, is a football term to make sure that you are on your guy man-to-man -man, like you're plastered to him. That has to be the case for LSU. They've got good talent in the back end, but Will Rogers, man, he can put it anywhere he wants when it comes to delivering the football. Keep an eye on that because if they're able to have success through the air, they're going to be able to do what they ultimately want to do at Mississippi State, which sounds weird. They want to run the football. They're more of a pro-style attack now. They ran for over 100 yards last week. They want to run the football. But I think Will Rogers being able to keep that box honest and keep that safety play right around 10 yards, 9 yards, that's going to be how they do it. Even so, I don't love the front seven matchup for Mississippi State, but that would be how they'd be able to create some opportunities in the run game and have some balance. So the other thing that I'm looking at in this game, Jaden Daniels and his legs, I think is going to be a very big X factor in this game. You go back and watch that game, Mississippi State against Arizona and went to overtime. A different Jaden for Arizona, Jaden Delora made a lot of plays with his legs. Didn't really show up in the box score quite as much. Didn't have a great stat line, but you could tell when you watched him on tape, when he broke contain and got his eyes downfield, a lot of good things happened for Arizona. So how does Mississippi State adapt this upcoming weekend? Because Jaden Daniels now, no disrespect to Jaden Delora, Jaden Daniels is a different beast when it comes to what he can do throwing the football downfield. And if he's able to kind of keep those second level of the Mississippi State defense at bay, if he's able to keep those linebackers in a bind and get those safeties off balance, there's going to be some very big plays happening with broken plays for LSU. Because he'll break contain, and those receivers from LSU, Malik Neighbors, for example, will stay on course, separate, and they're going to have big plays a lot of the time if they don't get that fixed for Mississippi State. That's a very, very big area of opportunity for LSU. The other part of this, we talk about LSU a lot in the sense of having to be balanced. If they can stay balanced, man, like that is the end-all, be-all for them. When they're able to have a multiple attack running the football, meaning that stable of running backs kind of gets going as well as Jaden Daniels in that zone read game, well, then you have to commit numbers to the box. Then you have to have extra support in the run game. And when that happens, that's when Jaden Daniels has to live up to this headline all offseason long about him needing to cut it loose. We've said that multiple times. We sat down with him at SEC Media Day and said, 
hey, a lot of people are saying you'll need to be more explosive. You need to throw the football downfield much more. Like, what do you think about that? And he told us, yeah, that's, that's a thing we have to do. When we have one-on-one matchups, I got to trust our guys to go make plays. This is the kind of game where that quote has to show itself. It's one thing to say you got to trust your guys. It's a whole other thing to cut it loose on third and six to extend the play and, and to take a shot deep to win the football game. Like, that's what I think you probably need from Jaden Daniels in this kind of football game. Now, you would hope those stakes aren't quite as high that you're taking a shot to win the football game. But even so, there's going to be opportunity. I want to see him pull the trigger in this game. How they get to pull the trigger? Having something in the run game with that running back room. So here's the interesting thing for me. The hinge point, and it's weird to say with Mississippi State now, but hang with me. The hinge point is I think both teams want to be physical. Mississippi State, you think of the air raid approach, that's not what they're doing anymore. They want to be more pro style. They want to run the football. They want to make you commit numbers and try and meet them in the box. My concern there is Mississippi State wasn't necessarily buyers when it came to the transfer portal. They didn't add a bunch of new pieces. So a lot of the guys from that team last year are still there. But the guys that were on that team last year, the guys that didn't leave via the portal, and they actually lost quite a few through the portal, I should say, the guys that didn't leave were committed to an air raid system. So you have air raid pieces, and now you're trying to run a pro-style attack. That concerns me a little bit. I think Will Rogers has to throw the football upwards of 25 times to win this game for them because that's their best approach offensively in my mind. Now, the receivers got to step it up a little bit, and they got to make sure they win that battle against LSU's inexperienced secondary. But even so, man, if LSU doesn't give the football away multiple times, I have a hard time seeing a world where LSU doesn't win this football game. Their pieces in the front seven are just too good. Harold Perkins, we know what he is. Makai Wingo, we know what he is. Like, you go down the line here, the depth at LSU within that front seven is going to be too much for Mississippi State. So it falls on the offense. Don't give the football away. If Mississippi State has a multiple turnover kind of game on defense, then things get interesting. Because then those cowbells, they start ringing. And there's a lot of noise on, on the condensed game footage you're watching back and saying, man, how did we give this one away? Well, you threw two picks and fumbled two other times. That's how you lost the football game. Even so, I think LSU is going to have something to prove in this game think they want to get that taste out of their mouth from what happened against Florida State I think they play a clean football game I think you see Jaden Daniels actually uncork it in this game and try and push the ball downfield more like we talked about all off season long this is the opportunity for that I think he does it we like LSU to win this football game we like LSU to cover final score 34 24 so a half point there LSU covers and the Tigers get a big win in SEC play to get things headed the right direction in year two under Brian Kelly Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.